health is about stopping disease before it starts. What that means is that in public health, we have the opportunity, and I believe the obligation, to save lives not just one at a time, but thousands and sometimes millions at a time. The UCLA School of Public Health, consistently rated among the top schools of public health in the nation, will soon open its newest research and practice center, the Center to Combat Emerging Infectious Diseases. The center will explore how epidemics develop and how changes in our world, everything from migration trends to global warming, affect the spread of infectious disease. We tend to think of wars as having been the biggest mass killers in human history, but in fact the biggest mass killers have been infectious diseases. When Europeans came to the New World, what killed 95% of Native Americans was germs, not dying on the battlefield. After World War I, the influenza epidemic was the biggest in history, and in recent times you've had the AIDS epidemic. What scares us today is the possibility of more emerging diseases. New diseases could strike especially hard if they aren't detected quickly. That's a real possibility today because there aren't enough laboratories to process the volume of suspicious samples collected by public health workers around the world. UCLA is working to meet the demand by building a state-of-the-art facility capable of analyzing thousands of biological samples almost in real time. Bipartisan leaders in Congress, including Speaker Nancy Pelosi, are supporting federal funding for the lab startup. The state of California also stepped forward with a major investment. It's great to be here today at UCLA to announce a $9 million Homeland Security grant they will fund a high-speed, high-volume lab right here at UCLA. And there is really no better place than UCLA. UCLA is working to link its laboratory facilities with others in the United States and around the world. When the network is complete, public health workers, even in the most remote areas in the world, will have the tools to detect a potential pandemic and respond quickly. The high-throughput lab will cut months off the time it takes us to deliver vaccines and will be the backbone of the most extensive infectious disease surveillance network in the world. By setting up these systems and being able to analyze these specimens quickly, we may be able to prevent the next pandemic. In addition to core government support, the school and its advisory board are working to secure private sector partners to ensure the full global potential of the lab is realized. This is the kind of place where an ordinary person can come involved. You don't have to be staff, you don't have to be student, anyone can be involved here. To be able to work on something that we know when it's up and running will make a huge difference is a humbling, a humbling experience.